Hello and welcome to another exciting, revealing, powerful and explosive episode of Springs of Life. I'm talking about Lady. Proverbs 4 verse 7 says, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting, get understanding. Of course, we know that the application, the right application of knowledge is wisdom. If you apply knowledge accurately, correctly, it translates to wisdom. Anytime you avail yourself of knowledge, you are availing yourself of the opportunity to manifest wisdom. But that's if you act on that. And of course, the Bible says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So when you know, which is knowledge, when you know the truth in God's word, it translates to wisdom, which you can actually use in making your life better and exactly the way God wants it to be. So think wisdom. Of course, the Bible also talks about you asking for wisdom if you lack it. I said, ask for wisdom because God gives unto, um, he gives liberally and upbraided not. So if you ask God for wisdom, if you are in a tight corner and you need help, you need wisdom on how to go about it, how to navigate your way, just call on your father and he will give you wisdom. How are you doing? How is life with you today? I trust that you're doing fine. I trust that you're learning daily. I trust you're growing. I trust you're reading books. Um, you're reading the Word of God. You're listening to messages. You're growing on a daily basis. And you're also spending time to pray. We pray for you that God will continually help you, bless you, increase you on all sides, and make you a blessing to many generations. To share God's word with us in the house today is our dearly beloved pastor, a friend of the family, Pastor Busayo Omoni. He's a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Seed of Life area, Lagos Province 13, and he's going to be blessing us today. It's so good to have you here, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for taking time out to bless us. Let's go, sir. Um, Monday is typically a very tight day for pastors. <laughs> <laughs> because of Sunday, um, yes. of course, um, for someone to be a pastor on Sunday, he must have been a pastor on Friday and Saturday. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are so glad to have you here. It's Glory a privilege. To Hallelujah. Okay, we'll just have a short word of prayer as we proceed with the program. Father, we want to say thank you for another day. We give you all the glory and be exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. This morning, Lord, you are the best teacher. Come and yes. teach us your word. Amen. Come and speak to every life in this place in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, lovely Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' most precious name, we pray. Amen. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome, sir. Uh, please connect with us on our social media platforms on Twitter, Dove TV, like us on Facebook, Dove Television. And also visit our website on www.dovevision.org. You can also join in on the conversation via Twitter by using the hashtag Springs of Life. Hashtag Springs of Life. Please be informed that there will be a special divine encounter on the 11th, 12th, and the 13th of this month. And the 11th starts today. It's taking place right here at the old arena the Redemption Camp, kilometer 46 of the Lagos Ibado Express, where you can stay in Nigeria. And ministering is our Father in the Lord. Um, the time is 6 p.m. Nigerian time. 6 p.m. Nigerian time. So make it a date. If you live within this axis, you stay around. Um, just make it a date. God wants to do something. It started about, this is the third session, the third season. Um, it started in 2017. So be a part of it. Um, God has something for you. And also know that anytime you're watching Springs of Life, anything can happen. Um, you can receive healing. God can touch you, heal you. God can give you a breakthrough. God can deliver you. So when you're on Springs of Life, know that anything can happen in your favor and for your good. So please do pay rapt attention as God's word goes forth through his son. Yeah, we're looking at the topic, a winner's mentality, a, a winner's mentality. And um, of course, we're going to be learning a whole lot. We'll start with definitions, first of all. And we'll look at the definitions of the words, being a winner, what mentality means, and what it means to have a winner's mentality. 
Yes, some definitions. Uh, winner's mentality. I, I'm taking my test this, this day from 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 42 to 50. 1 First Samuel, Samuel 17, 17, 42 to 50. Now, when we are talking about winner, a winner is a person that wins. A winner is somebody that is victorious. Uh, without a contest, without a fight, without a battle, without examination, you can't be a winner. Therefore, it means that before you can become a winner, then you must be engaged in a fight, whether a fight, a contest, a battle, or an examination. That is when a winner can emerge. Mm. Now, therefore, a winner is the one that is victorious in a fight, victorious in a contest, victorious in a battle, or victorious in an examination. Therefore, when you are not talking about mentality, mentality is a way you, the way you see things, the way you think about something, your way of thought, that's your own mentality. Now, when we are talking about winner's mentality, is the mentality, the way the victorious people think, the way okay. the victorious people react, the way the victorious people speak. That's what we are talking about. We are calling the winner's, winner's mentality. mentality. Now, winners simply do what loser doesn't do. The winners, they do what loser will not do. A winner is the one that press forward when others are saying there is no way again. Why? Because winners will never lose hope easily. Winners are those people that forge ahead when others say there is no way again. Winners do not return until they acquire their desire. They don't return until they acquire their desire. For example, the Bible says in Job chapter 22, verse 29, Job 22, Job 29, 29, the Bible says when they cast you down and you say exhortation will come, that's a winner. They cast mm. somebody down and say exhortation will come. Even though you are already down, a winner will say exhortation will, will come. come. Then he will save the humble person. Now, it, when people are saying no more way, even a winner will say exhortation will come. That's why the Bible says in Job also said, there is hope for a tree that is cut down because it will spring forth again. The mentality of a winner is a mentality that will say, even he is down, exhortation will come. come. A winner will say, though I am not there yet, but I have left there. I don't mm. know whether you get what I'm saying. Mm. I have left the former position, though I may not be there yet. I may not be where I'm going yet, but I have left the former position. Therefore, I will forge ahead to acquire my desire. That's the winner's mentality. Brethren, life is not your friend. Life is not our friend. Because okay. <laughs> life is not our friend. It's not friendly at all. Life is confronting us every day. We are confronted with the issues of life. Mm -hmm. We are confronted with the battles of life. Therefore, life is not your friend. It doesn't want you to cooperate with him. Life doesn't want you to cooperate. It doesn't want to cooperate with you, rather. You. You need to fight the battle of life in order for you to win in life. You must fight the battle of life, life for you to win in life. And one of the battles of life that you must fight is, is, is this tribulation, distraction everywhere. Everything, you must fight this battle. The success of a battle starts from the mind. Okay. If you want to be a winner, the success of a battle starts, starts from, from the, the mind. mind. And later move to your works. Mm -hmm. And later translate to your action. It starts from the mind, mind move to your ways, right. and translate to your action. Therefore, until you ignite your imagination, you cannot locate your destination. Until you ignite, ign ignite your, your imagination, imagination, you can get to your, locate your, get to your location. To your destination. Okay, locate your destination, okay? Why? If your imagination, what you imagine, what is in your heart, is so negative, therefore your ways will turn to negative. Yes. Words. Before you get it, your reaction or your outcome will be negative. Never wash your thoughts because it becomes your word. Wash your words, it becomes your, your actions. actions. Then you must possess a right mindset in order for you to get your set good. You must possess a right, right mindset. mindset in order for you to get your set goal in life. Therefore, the right mindset, because the winner of any battle. The winner in any battle, the, the success of that winning mentality starts from your mind. Okay. Start from your mind. Therefore, if, if, if you want me to go ahead. Yes, please do. Yes, the sir. first thing we must know before you can possess the winner's mentality, you must know yourself. 
Are you a winner or you are a loser? Now, if you know who you are, then you can get to any length in life. If you know what to carry, nothing unnecessary will carry you. Okay. If you know what to carry, carry, you must be, you are a winner by redemption. All of us, we are winners by redemption. What do I mean? If you have given your life to Jesus Christ, you are a winner. By the redemption of Christ, we are winners by redemption. So once you've given your life to Jesus Christ, you are a winner. You are a winner. The Bible says in 1 John chapter okay. 4, verse 4. 1 John, John 4, chapter 4, verse 4. 4. It says, you are of God. Therefore, if you are of God, it says, little children, because you have overcome the, them. Why? Because greater is he yeah, that is in you yeah. than he that is yeah. in the world. Now, if you are of God, you have given your life to Jesus, you have overcome. Therefore, you are already a winner. Not that you will be a winner. You are already a winner. Why? Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Therefore, anyone that has given their life to Jesus, you are a winner by redemption. The Bible said in 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, 1 John chapter 5, verse 4 says, For whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. This is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. If you are born of God, you are an overcomer. You are a winner by redemption. Mm. If you are born again, you are a winner. You must know that you are a winner. If you know that you are a winner, then you will be winning. Even though in the midst of failure, you will not see yourself in failure. You will never see failure inside of you because you don't possess failure. You possess a winner's mentality. mentality. Knowing yourself is the key to win. If you know yourself, you know what to carry, you know what God is saying about you, you therefore you have a master key for winning in life. If you know yourself, then you are a winner. You are born again to win again. You are not born again to lose again. To lose again. You are born again to, to win, win again. again. You are not a loser. You are not a failure. You are a success by redemption. When you acknowledge that you are a winner, to carry winner's mentality will be easy for you. Mm. When you acknowledge that I am a winner, to carry winner's mentality will be an easy, easy task thing. for me. Because I have acknowledged that I am a winner. Possessing a right attitude, which is a winner's mentality, that is what we need to possess. We must possess a right attitude. We say winner's mentality. mentality. Your purpose in life will end up in frustration if you carry a negative attitude. Your purpose in life will end up in frustration if you carry a negative attitude. Brethren, a winner's mentality is a positive thinking mentality. A winner's mentality is a positive confession mentality. A winner's mentality is a positive reaction mentality. That's positive. an equation. Okay. Positive I, I put the thinking. Positive thinking mentality. Positive confession, confession me mentality. And reaction. And positive reaction, reaction mentality. mentality. When you have a positive thinking, then you'll be confessing positively. Nobody, nobody is telling you, sir, even people at home, that you will not face trials, that you will not face failure. But in, in the midst of failure, if you carry a winner's mentality, you will see success in the midst of failure. No. There's nobody in this world that has never been disappointed before. True. There's nobody that has no failed in one way or the other. But when you carry a negative mentality, if, when you carry that negative, the failure will overwhelm you and you will remain a failure. But when you carry a positive mentality, a winner's mentality, even in the midst of failure, you will be seeing yourself as success. That's why you will try again and try again and try, try again, again and you will get here. That's a winner's mentality. mentality. Awesome. Wow, 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 wow. I love this part. If you, you are born again to, to win, win again. again. <laughs> I, love the, I love the way it sounds. Wow, that's awesome. Now, okay, let's get to the part where we know how to have a winner's mentality. Uh, because um, lots of times people don't know how to get, how do I, how do I enter that realm? Awesome. Lots of times we have loads of information flying on social media. Um, lots, of lots of things are flying mm -hmm. that should make you have a negative mindset. For example, there are things that fly on, online that would make you naturally fearful. So when you see something that is similar to that, ha, ah, that's what I watched the other time. Like so if um, someone close to me was saying that she watched, um, she watched how chickens, little chicks, chicks were blended and made into sausages. So we were eating sausages together and she said, that's the chicks, they, 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 because she could feel particles in the sausages. So, 
How, how can we have a winner's mindset? I will go back to that mindset. Okay. Whatever you fill your mind, your spirit with, okay. you begin to manifest it. If you fill your spirit with fear, then you begin to manifest fear. fear. Mm. Now, if you fill your spirit with the word of God, you should watch what comes into your mind. And what comes into your mind can come by what you see or what you hear. Yeah. Now, those two things, you must watch it. What do I see? What, do I, what, am I, what am I hearing? You must try and push everything that comes to your mind. Because if you don't push things that you allow to enter into your mind, it will turn to your mindset. Before you know it, you begin to manifest it. If you, if you allow things that will be fearful to come into your mind and they are storing there, before you know it, it will get to a level that fear will take over of your life. Mm -hmm. But when you fill your heart with something that will encourage you, with the word of God and with the things of God, when, you, when we started, I, I, I listened to you and you said, are you reading books? Are you studying your Bible? Those are the things that can help you to build a right mindset. Mm. Because what you can picture will determine your future. What are you picturing in your heart? What are you seeing in your heart will determine where you are going in life. Therefore, if, if you allow those negative things to come into your mind, to, to register their, their domain in your heart, before you know it, you will be having a negative mentality. But when you allow the things that will encourage you, there will not everything that you are permitted to hear. If it's coming, you are permitted to block your ear from that. Ears. Not everything you are permitted to look, to see. When you see them, you close your eyes. Some time ago, I, I, I saw something on WhatsApp on how they are slaughtering people. I just closed that play because the thing was so fearful. It was as if I'm seeing it. And I know that if I allow myself to watch that thing and digest it, it will stay there. Mm. At least for this, you'll be imagining it. That's how we are created as Umabi. True. Therefore, you should make sure you purge what, you, what comes to your heart. If what is coming to your heart is encouragement, something that will we, that we stir up your faith, even people will be telling you, ah, there is a problem. You say, I don't see problem. I'm seeing success. Who will say, there is what? Say, I, don't, I can't go in the midst of positive. You'll be seeing negative. Mm. You'll be seeing, ah, this is a studio. It can collapse. So that is mm. what you become. You just... Because there is always negative in any positivity. There's negative side of everything positive. For if your mindset is already a negative mind, you will not even see positive in the midst of positive. But for, mm. Let me just, maybe I should ship in some attributes. It will help us. Okay. Some attributes of winners. Okay. Number one, courage. And I've been telling you how we can get be courageous by studying the word of God. Courage is an attribute of a winner. If you are fearful, if you don't have courage, you can't win. You may read for an examination and you are prepared and you get to the examination. And if fear comes, everything in your brain will disappear. Very true. Therefore, courage is an attribute of a winner. The Bible said in Isaiah chapter 43 verse 1. Isaiah, Isaiah 43, 43, 43 verse, verse 1. 1. Said, but now thou says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and who formed you, O Israel, fear not. For I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Fear not. Be courageous. I have redeemed you. Fear not. That's what the word of God said. It said in, in, in Job, in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. I have not commanded you. I have con not commanded you. Be strong and good courage. Do not be afraid. And not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you. Yeah. Everywhere you go, your Lord, your God is with you. Everywhere you go, devil, be encouraged. Courage makes you to face any battle and to win any battle. Number two, winner's attribute. The winner's attribute, or you can call it their mentality too. Okay. Positive confession. Positive confession. Whatever you say, brethren, you will see. If you say, I will be successful, you will be successful. Successful. Some, some years ago, a man told me something, and I want to share with it so that maybe it will encourage us. The man was on Okada. The, a, the, bike. The, the, a bike. A bike, okay. As they were going, a car lost control, and it was coming towards them. And the Okada man was saying, ah, is, is it not this car that will kill me now? 
He was saying it. <laughs> the man at the back was saying, no, I will not die in Jesus' name. And eventually, the car crushed the two of them. The Okada man, the bike man died immediately. Jesus. And this man that said, I will not die in Jesus' name, was the one telling me this story. Hmm. The, the first thing that this Okada man said, is it not this car that will kill me? And the car eventually killed him. Hmm. Whatever you say matters most. You are in, in sickness. You are in pain. You are confessed that, ah, this sickness, ah, is it not this sickness that will kill me? You are, you are already a failure. You have already accepted defeat. But if you are saying in the midst of the sickness, you are not part of me. My body is the oh, temple of the Holy right. Spirit. Sickness, you are illegal occupant. I command you to leave. The sickness has no choice that to obey you. Because the Bible says in Psalm 18, verse 44, Psalm 18, 44 and 45, it says, As soon as they hear my voice, they shall obey me. The stranger shall be afraid of their hidden places. Whatever you say matter most. You must have a positive confession. confession. Even we that we are Christian, if anything happens, many people say, Mogwe have died, oh, Mogwe Moku. It's not their fault. It's what is in their mind. Minds. If Jesus is in your mind, the first thing that will come to you in the midst of a Bible is Jesus. Jesus. That's why you must register Jesus, register his word in your heart. That's why I say, heart is the beginning. It's where that will determine whether you are a winner or a loser. loser. What is in their mind? Have your positive confession. Let the weak say, I am strong. strong. That's what Joel chapter 3 verse 10 says. Joel 3 10 says, let the weak say, I am sorry. strong. He agreed that I am weak, oh, but he said, don't say I am weak. I am let the strong. weak say, I am strong. Positive confession. Another attribute of a winner is diligent. A winner must be diligent. You want to win in any battle? You want to win in your academics, in your spiritual life, in your working place? You want to win? You must be diligent. Proverbs 22, verse 29. Proverbs 22, 29 say, Sit down a man that is diligent in his business. He shall stand before kings and not before mere man. For diligent is another attribute. One of the attributes of women, they are skillful. Anything they do, they are, they are their best. Anything they do, they make sure they do they, the they best. Learn, okay. You are what you know. You are what you, you know. know. What if you don't know any, the level of whom you, the level of your knowledge will determine of the level of whom you are. Mm. You are what you, you know. know. The first one, you must be skillful if you want to be a winner. Another attribute of a winner, winner, they are ready to learn. Winners are ready to, to learn. learn. They are the ones that you will see studying. The Bible says you should study to show to those self approved. They are the one that studies from one level to another. Learning from others is an attribute of a winner. Great mind discuss ideas. Why small mind discuss people? Ooh. Great mind minds discuss, discuss ideas. ideas, but small, small minds, minds they discuss, discuss people. people. That's why you must ready to learn, learn from others, discuss idea. Then you'll be great. Another mm -hmm. attribute of a of a winner is what focus. A winner is somebody that is focused in anything that is yours. You must be focused. Many people they want to be the focus, but they don't have focus. Hmm. They want to be the one people are looking at, but they don't have focus. If you want to be the focus, you must have focus mm. in life. And another attribute, let me end with this one. Okay. Uh, attribute, so that we can move to wow. the next thing. Another attribute of a winner is commitment. Commitment. A winner is somebody that is committed to whatever he's doing. Total commitment. Until you sow the seed of commitment, you cannot reap the harvest of accomplishment. Until you sow the seed of commitment, you, you cannot, cannot reap, reap the harvest, harvest of, of accomplishment. accomplishment. Until you sow the seed of commitment, you must sow the seed of commitment in order for you to reap the harvest of accomplishment in life. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my mentors, Pastor J.T. I said, he said, a committee without commitment will commit crime. That's fantastic. <laughs> A committee without commitment will commit crime. <laughs> you want to be winner, then you must be committed to whatever you do. Oh God. If you constitute a committee now without commitment, they will commit crime. Because mm. the outcome will be a negative one. That's wow. a crime. <laughs> but you must be committed mm. to whatever you do in life. You must be committed. Now, okay. those are the attributes of a winner. Attributes of a winner. Let's just quickly have a recap. We have, you must be courageous. Yes, sir. Um, you must positive be confession. Positive confession. Diligent. Diligent. Skillful. Skillful. Ready, ready to, learn, to learn. Focus. Focus. Commitment. Commitment. Wow. Okay. If you uh, are, uh, okay. Uh, if you, uh, let, let's, let's look at one example in the Bible. A man called Paul. 
and apostle. Verse 13 and 14. Philippians 3, 3 13, 13, and, 13 and, 14. and 14. The Bible says, Paul said, Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended. I have not seen myself that I have achieved anything. That's what he's saying. I do not count myself that I have apprehended. But one thing I do, forgetting the past, which is behind me, and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. Focus. Focus. He said, I press towards the goal for the price of high calling. calling. He never relents because he has a destination. Mm. He is focused. He didn't allow anything to catch his attention. Because if anything caught your attention, he will give you attention. Mm. If you allow any negativity to catch What's your attention, attention, it will give you attention. attention. And when he gives you attention, you will not get to your destination. <laughs> and you could have our potential to... Oh, God bless you. <laughs> God bless you, sir. Forgive me. <laughs> but no, Paul me. said, okay. I am looking forward. <laughs> Nothing will catch my attention because in this world, there are distractions. Mm. In the ministry, there are distractions. They are looking for your attention. When they capture your attention, they capture your direction. When they capture your direction, they will give you attention and according to you, they will give you attention. <laughs> oh, God. But he looked forward to the price of eye calling. That was why he now said in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, he said, I can do all things, all things. to oh, Christ that strengthens me. That's a winner's mentality. He didn't I say, can I can do, do some things. things. I can do all, all things. It's a winner's mentality. I Brethren, we must carry that mentality. Mm. Apostle Paul is a, was, he was a winner throughout his life. Why? It's not because he's not facing challenges, but he carried that mentality, mentality that I can do all, all things. things. I can succeed as an accountant. I can succeed as a pastor. I can succeed as a broadcaster. Anywhere wherever I go, I find myself, wherever I find myself, I carry that winner's mentality, mentality because I am not born again to fail again. again. I am born again to, to win, win again. again. Therefore, awesome. you must carry that mentality because that was what Paul carries and he became one of the best apostles that did exploit because exploit. He, he will say something that I love. Say, I thank God I speak in tongues more than them all. Why? He carried that mentality. mentality. I can do it more than anybody through Christ that strengthens me. me. Thank you very much. And also David said, David, um, it was recorded of David that he encouraged himself, himself in the yeah, Lord. Lord. Okay, we'll be going on a short break right now. When we come back, the phone line will be open so you can call in to ask Pastor your questions and also to make your contributions. A short break. Heavens International Center. I believe that what you see and hear here will arouse your faith and your life will never remain the same. Challenge God using what you see here as a point of contact to your miracle. Welcome back to Still Springs of Life. We've been having a wonderful time, very interesting time in God's presence here. And um, we thank God for um, we thank God for using His Son 
Pastor Busai Omoni to bless us today, shed light on his word. And it's been fun all the way. We've been learning. I won't believe you've been learning too. Uh, please do know the phone line is open. You can call in to ask Pastor your questions. Of course, Pastor is still going to reel out a few things and we'll start picking up calls. And please don't forget to turn down the volume of your TV before making your calls. That's really important if you want to ensure your call goes through and you're able to pass your message across. Please turn down the volume of your TV before making that call. And when you speak on your phone, please speak audibly, speak authoritatively, ask your questions, speak with a pastor's voice. Permit me to use that. And also connect with us on our social media platforms on Twitter, at Dove TV, like us on Facebook, Dove Television, and also visit our website on www.dovevision.org. All right, the topic still remains the winner's mentality. Yes, sir. We'll just proceed, continue now, with the winner's mentality. Winner's mentality. Number one, winners will call upon God. They will seek God and they will find God. Because the, the loser will depend on their ability, but the winners will fly on the wings of God. Mm. When you see anybody that is full of himself, I can do this alone, he's already a loser. Mm. But the winners will depend on God. Oh God. Jeremiah 29, 11 to 14. Jeremiah 29, 11 to 11, 14. 14. You'll find out one day. All right, let's, let's take this call. Hello, you're on to Springs of Life. Your name and where are you calling from? Good morning. Good day. What's your name, please? Where are you calling I'm from? Name. I'm calling from Ibadan. Okay, your name again. Ayodeji, I'm calling from Ibadan. Ayodeji, okay, calling from Ibado. Yes, how is Ibado? Do, how is IB? You like know, they call I just it? I appreciate the man of God. Okay. I was really blessed by that word. And um, I would really appreciate to have the church for me that handle if possible. I just want to really, really appreciate him. Okay. Really His social I media and the look, do us a big favor to call back after the program. So you can have a one. Please do us a big favor to call back after the program so you can have a one-on-one -on -one yes, chat with him. Yes, yes. Okay? Yes, call us back. You have a one-on-one -on -one chat with him so as to exactly. receive that. All right. All right. Thank you so much. All right. God bless. Have a wonderful time. Yes, sir. Yeah, I told you that winners will depend on God. They will fly on, on the, the wings, wings of God. God. Number two, winners will never pay attention to problems. Or challenge it, but rather look unto Jesus. Hebrews chapter 12, 1 to 2. Winners will never pay attention, attention to, to problems. problems, but rather look on to God. God. Hebrews 12, 1 to 2. One and two. So, the Bible says, I will look upon him. It's because he's, he's, he's the author and the finisher of our faith. faith. Therefore, you will winners, they are the ones that pay attention to God, not the problem. Because I discovered something. Whatever you pay attention to will magnify. If you have headache and you are paying attention to the headache, headache will begin to grow and, and before you know it, it turns to migraine. Mm. But when you have headache and you pay attention to the one that created you, the headache will leave and disappear. Mm. Mm. If you pay attention to one particular thing, the thing will begin to magnify. Your mind, devil even will speak. This thing, it will be telling you how big, how, devil, how deadly this thing this, can be. This is. But when you pay attention to the one that can solve the problem, then the problem will disappear. Therefore, winners pay attention to God, Jesus, not the problem. Or not challenge. the problem. Okay. Winners see challenges as opportunity for greatness. Challenges and responsibilities are the factor that make people to develop a negative attitude. Negative attitude. When people see challenges and responsibility, they start developing a negative attitude. attitude. Maybe you should so, pick the call. Okay, okay, I'll pick it. Okay, we lost our call. Um, so we, we are meant to react to challenges in a different way. In a different way, in, in a, a positive manner. In a positive way. Okay, we'll take this call now. Okay. Hello, you're on to Springs of Life. Your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Hello. Yes, we can hear you, please. Your name and where are you calling from? This is Idunola from Abuja. Your name again, please. Did you know from Abuja. Okay. Um, do you have a question or a contribution? Hello? Yes. Do you have a question or a contribution? Yes. I just want to thank uh, the man of God. I appreciate him for the work he's doing. And he's, he's preaching and I've learned a lot from it. 
All right. Uh, please, I have a question that I want to ask the man. He's listening to you. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, there is this uh, person that brought this as an advice, and an, I don't know how to go about it. He, before she got bought the game, before she got converted, then there's this man she has been in a relationship with, which led to pregnancy and all that. So, and you know, she wasn't born again, she doesn't know. So along the relationship became born, she became born again. Not knowing that the man is married and his wife and his sister has come well, though they had a problem. Before she met the man, there is no woman with the man. The man is, the woman is so well. So after the, before, as the relationship was going on, he realizes that there's a, the woman is somewhere with the children, and now she's pregnant. Doesn't know what to do. Okay, um, what should she do in a situation, situation like this, oh. as, especially as a born again Christian? Because he said she's born again. Yeah. Okay, please listen to Pastor as he responds. First point: she's pregnant. She has to deliver the baby. She should not think of aborting abortion in any way. She has to deliver the baby, and because the man is married. He can't marry the man. The man has mm. his own family. Mm. She, has, she, has, she, she will be a, that's a, a, a single mother. A single mother. But now because she's born again, the Almighty God will bring the right man that will now marry her legally according to the word of God. But he cannot right. abort because I hear the word, she's pregnant now. She should not think of aborting the baby because if she does, if that one is a sin already killing of somebody. And the, the, the second thing is that she can't marry this man because this man is legally married with his children and the family. Therefore, because she's born again now, she should pray to God. God will send the right man that will marry her and accept her the way she is now with, with the child. With God the child. bless you, man. Amen. I, I just wanted to add a little more. Um, based on what you said earlier, you said when um, you are born again to win again. Yes, sir. So now she's born again. She'll win. She'll win again. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you, you sir. very much. I will take another call. Hello, you're on to Springs of Life. Your name and where are you calling from? Okay, please remember to turn on the volume of your TV. You want to call and you want your call to go through, you want to pass a message across, just turn it down so that you don't call because that's an opportunity because lots of people are calling at the same time. And when yours go through, it means you have the opportunity to share what you want to share. So let's take this one. Hello, you're on to Springs of Life. Your name and where you're calling from. Okay, please do call us back and we'll proceed with the teaching. Challenges yes. and responsibility are those factors that makes people develop a negative attitude towards life. Okay. But the good news is that challenges are normal in life and God is with you. Whenever God is with you, according to Isaiah 43, verse 1 and 3, he said, whenever you pass through water, I will be with you. When you pass through fire, I will be with you. Whenever God is with you, you will win. Even mm. in the midst of that challenges, challenges. or responsibility. All right, the absolutely. journey to greatness is full of mountains. Okay. All, all right. Thank you very much. So we have uh, an SMS um, okay. which says, please, can you repeat the attributes of a winner? Um, that's courageous, having focus, um, you Skiffle. need to learn, to, um, that's being teachable, have commitment, focus. Um, which other one? Diligent. Diligent and um, skillful. skillful. That's, those are the attributes. And we have another SMS. It says, good morning, good day, sir. Please, can I have... A one on one chat with oh Pastor Busayo. Okay, he wants to have a one on one chat with you. And please call back after the program. After the program, you can have a one on one chat with Pastor. Okay, we take this one. Good day, sir. I am can I overcome fear and discouragement? I found it difficult to speak with the crowd. Please help me. What can I do? I, th I think I, I think I was in your shoe before. I can't face the crowd, but now by the grace of God, there is a program in our show that close to 1,000. I've ministered where 2,000 people are standing, and I can face everybody. What you need, you need the Holy Spirit. Did mm. the, the Holy Spirit enter into my life? That courage, that fear just disappear. I can face any crowd. I was like him before. Beat a billion I, people. I can't face anybody. I'm so gentle that I won't be able to look at your face when I'm talking to you. But the day the Holy Spirit came, a change. A change come. Therefore, you need the Holy Spirit, sir, and God will release His Spirit into your life. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Okay, we'll take this call. Hello. 
You're on to Springs of Life. Your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Hello, good morning. Good day. Please, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Dorcas. I'm calling from Suleja, Niger State. All right, um, Dorcas. How is Suleja, Niger State? Okay, please, you need to turn down the volume of your TV. Dorcas? Hello? Yes, please, turn it down, turn it down. Yes, okay, so how is Suleja doing? Okay, Pastor is listening to you. Do you have a question or a contribution? Yes, I have a question. Okay, he's listening. Go ahead, please. I want to appreciate the pastor for the message of this morning. Thank God for his grace upon him. Glory to God. My question is, my question is, have been trusting God for the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And as a child of God, it has been a burden. I've been worried why our team has not received the baptism. And at times, I think this call may kind of come. Maybe one is not truly really born again. Or what is the... I don't know why. How to now? Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, okay. If you have gone through the teaching and you pray and fast, some people have been asking the same question, and I discovered one of them, because we have a one-on-one, -on -one, I discovered that the Holy Spirit is already there. But for her to speak in turn, the, this spirit of fear, uh, what do I want to say? Uh, this thing is coming. No, I will not say it. Is it rubbish? Is it this? That is the reason. The, I think the evidence is what our sister is looking for. Therefore, okay. go through the teaching. Let your pastor put you through and pray with you. And I'm trusting God. By the grace of God, we are in the season of fasting and prayer and redeeming Christian God. Before the end of this fasting and prayer, I prophesy to your life. In Amen. the mighty name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. Amen. Even before the end of the, today, you begin to speak in a new tongue. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. God bless you, man. Amen. Thank you, sir. We'll take this one. Hello, you're on to Springs of Life. Your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Okay, please do call us back. Remember to speak audibly and remember to turn on the volume of your TV before making your calls. Take this one. Hello, you're on to Springs of Life. Your name and where are you calling from? Hello? P please, we need you to speak more audibly. Okay, what's your name, please? Hello? Yes, what's your name, please? My name is Elijah Mercy. Elijah Mercy. Okay, where are you calling from, Mercy? I'm calling from Okay, Ibadan. Okay, do you have a question or a contribution? I have a contribution. Okay, please, go ahead. First of all, I just want to thank God because I'm a winner as well. I love yeah, that. I that's love that. good. That's good. To you. And, uh, <laughs> that's wow, good. that's wonderful. <laughs> I love that. And that's I good. I appreciate the grace of God upon the pastors. Glory to Glory God. To God I've been using you. Glory to God. So, my contribution is as a winner, the winners are those who know they are God. Yes. Mm. If somebody that knows the God, the Bible says they will be strong and Stress do exploit. Yes, very true. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, we can hear you. You see, if not of that David knows the God himself, he will not be able to face Goliath. Yeah. He knows the God. So that was why he was able to face the Goliath. He said in the name of God of Israel, he knew himself. So those mm. who know their God, they shall be strong and mm. do great efforts. Do God great bless you. God bless Thank you, you Wina Mercy. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was wonderful. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I told you that the journey to greatness is full of mountains. Okay. Therefore, take note of that. It takes the winner to summon mountains. Mountains. Winners never agree with failure. They don't cooperate with failure. They see success in the means of failure. Winners always have positive confession, which I told you before. Now, with winning mentality, your trial can be converted to triumphant. Okay. With winner's mentality, your trial can, can be, be converted be to triumphant. Triumphs. Okay. John, John Maxwell said, he said, adversity is prosperity to those who possess a great attitude. He said, adversity is prosperity to those who possess a great, great attitude. attitude. If you possess that winner's mentality, adversity will just be a prosperity to you. Therefore, okay. knowing this, you cannot lose a battle because you are serving the living God. 
According to our test today, David said to Goliath, number one thing that David does, he, com- he puts a confession. He said, I'm here today to cut off your head. Where is the knife or sword? He was not he with sword. Not have any, uh, he doesn't any have any anyone. Wow. But he said, I am here today to cut off your head. That is a winner's mentality. And he came with catapult. And he said, I will cut off your head. At the end of the world, what did when the catapult eats the Goliath and Goliath fell down, he removed Goliath's sword, sword and used it to cut off the head of Goliath. It was a winner's mentality, mentality. a positive confession. He said, I have come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, not in my name. I told you a winner will depend on God. You can okay. see, if it's, if because of time, we won't be able to explain that place. That place is loaded. Every ways of David was a positive confession, was a winner's mentality. It's a demonstration of people, somebody that carry a winner's mentality. mentality. And at the end of the day, he won because he carried that winner's mentality. mentality. Okay, so we'll just take some SMSs. Um, someone wants all the quotes, the tension. Um, I, I don't know how we're going to do that. Um, uh, Dove TV will do that one. Okay, uh, please. <laughs> I also know that this program will be repeated by 11 p.m. Nigerian time. So you can actually go back, watch it, 11 p.m. Nigerian time. You can also go online on YouTube and find the, um, you know, um, yes, the, it's the it's, yes, it's on Facebook, YouTube. You just go type the topic for today, Winner's Mentality, Dove Television, Springs of Life, and you get, you get to see the teaching for today. We'll take another um, SMS here. Yeah, good, good day, sir. Thanks for the good work you're doing. So how do I differentiate the call of God in my life from my personal, um, from my personal to serve? Okay, from me wanting to serve God, how do I um, differentiate the call of God in my life? I get, it's not so clear, but from my personal huge to serve God, I don't know what that means. Okay, okay. Maybe, okay. maybe you want to know is calling. Oh, his own personal desire. Desire to serve. Okay, God. yes, I, I think so. In a jiffy. Oh, yes. okay. Just quickly. The, everybody is called by God. He said, okay. going into the world, we are called to evangelize. That's mm. the general call to do an assignment. If he's giving you a vision, it give provision. Mm. Therefore, every calling of God is back up with the word of God. Word of God. Every calling of God is back up with the provision. With the provision of God. The gift of God in you to do that assignment given to you by God will be give, delivered to you. Delivered give it to you. you. All right, thank you, sir. Another one. Good day, house. I'm Oyi Damola from Abuja. I must confess I was tremendously blessed by Pastor Busayo. You are really blessed. May God continue to help you in your ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. That's what uh, Oyi Damola says. And also here, we're saying the person here is saying, good day, sir. Thank you for the opportunity to ask questions here. Please, my question is this. What can a woman do if she knows her husband sometimes gets money from questionable sources? Mm. Mm. Yes. I think that if you know, you have to sit him down, talk to him prayerfully. And if he refuse, you know that there is somebody that whenever the person talks to your husband, your husband will listen. I think you may, you may engage the man. If you have used all the means, your own personal means, the word of God, your prayer to prayer correct life. him. You can move to your pastor if you know that he respects the pastor to talk to him. All right. And that, with prayer, I know God will, God will intervene. Okay, to someone who says, uh, that's Odofia from Akwai Bomb State says, I met the program halfway mm-hmm. and um, how, will there be a repeat? Yes, yes, there will be a repeat. Okay. 11 p.m. Nigerian time. All right, I've been praying since, someone saying here, I've been praying Saints, okay, we're having some, oh, sorry. Okay. I've been praying since, okay, we're having some setback here. Okay, I've been praying since for my son. He's an adult pastor. He has marital problems and is affecting him, his ministry. What do I do again? Please pray for me. Please, let's keep praying. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus that that problem, that marital issue, the Lord will intervene today in the name of Jesus. And God will turn this mess to message for you in Jesus' name. All right. Thank you, sir. Amen. I'm Jonathan from Gombe State. How do I focus spiritually as a teenage winner? <laughs> <laughs> Despite distractions. Uh, you, you must first of all deal with that distraction. 
I don't know the kind of your own distraction. Social media, I teenagers. You you, what comes to your mind, okay. you have to filter it. Okay. What you hear and what you see. Those two things, you must go ahead and audit everything that must come to your mind. Audit everything that you must hear. You must not hear everything. You must not see everything because they will not benefit you. Okay, there, this one is very, very strong. It says, Pastor, I am a winner. We have to do this in the GFI, sir. I am a married lady, but fell into the sin of adultery. God have lifted me out of it. Okay. Sir, is there any restitution to make, sister, happiness from Oweri? Yes, ma. You need to talk to your husband. Prayerfully, you must confess to him. Mm. That's when you will be free. That's when condemnation will not kill you. Will not kill you. You have to confess to him prayerfully. Prayerfully. But before we do that, make sure you pray very well. If you have a spiritual father, please open up to him. They will lead you, but you must confess to your husband. All right. Thank you very much. We have quite a number of SMSs, yes, yes. and we know you have so much more. Uh, because of our time, we just have to bring the program to a close. Wow. Just a short word of prayer okay. as we bring this to a close. Father, we want to Thank bless you. your name. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. That it be exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. As many that are listening to us today that have not given their life to you, I pray that we touch all of them in Jesus' name. Amen. And as many that want to decide to follow you so that they can be a winner, that they forgive their sins right now, accept them and write their name in the book of life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pronounce to everybody hearing me this moment, every battle of your life, you will win in Jesus' name. Amen. Every battle confronting your destiny, I release the anointing to win. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I will hear your testimony. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We want to say a big thank you, sir, for blessing us today. Thank God, sir. Indeed, you are a winner. I am a winner in Jesus' name. <laughs> and to everyone watching, you are a winner. Thank you for being a part of the program. To those who called, a big thank you for calling in. We had quite a number of calls we couldn't pick and SMSs that we couldn't read. Um, we want to believe that God will answer your questions and also share your contributions in the hearts of everyone in the mighty name of Jesus. And a big thank you to my producer, the camera crew, and everyone who's made Springs of Life a success. Please keep on watching Dove Television. We have so much more for you. I still remain Tokumo Lady. Have a wonderful time in God's presence. Enjoy yourself.